So I just finished a live stream with Morant's rants. Look, here's just, I'll just give you the bottom line of the whole thing. We both agree that Adam Aaron does not have and never had. And he made some really, really great points. I mean, you should really watch his videos. He does tremendous DD that will blow your mind. He never had the best interest of retail. He doesn't need our votes. He's already had this thing set up from the beginning, okay, that he could dilute and dilute and dilute. And, he, and, and basically, it doesn't matter what we feel about it, okay? Now, I always say alleged, but he has the proof. I mean, he, you know, he's read and, you know, literally has things that are on his videos that he shows you the proof in the pudding. Now, I don't, I don't deny anything he's saying, okay? I don't deny anything. Okay, I think he's on the money. But somewhere along the line, I think we forgot why we came into AMC. We were never in this for fundamentals. I never signed up for fundamentals. That's it. I wasn't in this play because I liked Adam Aaron. I thought he was a great guy. I think he's a piece of garbage. I was, as much as I love movies, and I do love movies, that's not the reason why I got involved in AMC. I got involved in AMC because it was a short squeeze play. Okay, I felt that the shorts, you know, dug a grave for themselves, and I wanted to capitalize on their error. But the problem is, this is where me and Morantz disagree, okay? He's looking at AMC solely as its fundamentals, and, you know, Adam Aaron and the board and everybody is out, you know, to, to, to get us, and they could delude, and they could destroy us, and they're heading for bankruptcy. But he's not looking at the X factor, okay, which is where I disagree with him, which is allegedly criminal activity that is going on in this circle. Okay, I like to call this circle the 1% circle. This could allegedly include Adam Aaron, Ken Griffin, Gary Gensler, government. And what what's happening is they're, they're doing things, okay, which again, just one, it could be one of a million things, naked, allegedly naked shorting, okay, and Gary Gensler's under the table blindfolded, you know, not paying attention. The Department of Justice is not investigating. Ken Griffin is getting richer and richer and richer and richer and richer. And it seems like just nobody gives a shit, okay? So what my whole thing is, is to expose that corruption. I love the Marine. I have the highest respect for him. The highest respect. God bless him in his protests. I hope he has a big turnout. I don't think that's going to do it. And that's why I kind of, you know, people have asked me to go, I said, look, I support the Marine. I, you know, God bless him in his effort. God bless everybody. I just don't, and I'm not trying, I hope you don't get mad at me because I support him. I support anyone who's fighting the corruption in any way that they can. I think God bless you and more power to you. But I just don't think that's enough. I think the source is we need to expose the phantom shares. Like that letter that Wes Christian sent to uh, Adam Aaron. It's it's said in the letter that he believes there are phantom shares, there are synthetic, fake synthetic shares being used. So that's where share intel comes into play. Okay, I, it should be the priority of every single AMC ape to pressure Adam Aaron to hire share intel intel to conduct okay their service to establish if phantom shares, synthetic shares are being used at AMC. And I got to tell you, I'm friggin' flabbergasted. I can't tell you. Why are you not all enraged? What, like, this is the thing. I don't understand it. And I, and I was telling Morantz that sometimes I think the AMC apes are the worst enemy because you don't want to fight. It's like you want to wipe your chin and say thank you. You know, you're buy and hold, buy and hold. This buy and hold shit is not working. It's not working. I'm sorry. I know you get mad at me. Listen. They're doing everything in their power to friggin' destroy us. And you're not understanding that. There are forces that are preventing the effing Moaz. Okay? And you can't just sit back with your thumb up your friggin' ass and think that they're going to come to us with a silver platter or a gold platter with friggin', you know, trillions of dollars to hand to us. It's not going to happen. We have to fight for it. Now, you might say, well, how do we fight? If Adam Aaron does not agree, okay, to hire share intel, he's hiding something. That's the bottom line. So right off the bat, you should, first of all, the first thing, here's step one. Everybody should pressure Adam Aaron. 
to higher share Intel. I'm talking about millions of apes, AMC apes all around the world. If he doesn't agree to do it, we all have to now come to the acceptance and the conclusion he is not our friend. He is not on our side. Step two, we have to do everything in our power, a legal, okay, you know, something legal. I'm saying that we have to follow law, the law. This is, I'm not saying nothing illegal because I know some psychos out there. We have to follow our constitutional rights, maybe boycott AMC. Okay, that's step one. After that, you know, yeah, you could do protesting, but, you know, if, if you're going to do protesting, in all honesty and fairness, you got to have thousands and thousands of thousands. Like, I would, look, I wouldn't do a protest, again, me, unless I knew there was going to be 5,000 people coming. Guaranteed. That literally has to be 5,000 people. That would make a difference because now you would actually have, okay, a, a large enough audience to attract major media, even if it was two or 3,000, but like 10 people showing up is not going to do anything. Um, the reason why I like the video idea, which is the boycott, I came up with this idea, the boycotting AMC, in other words, you go to an AMC, uh, not an AMC theater, correction, you go to the competitor, you go to Regal, you make a video, okay, showing that you bought tickets, movie tickets, you bought concessions, you bought, you spent a hundred dollars there. The thing is, if enough people did it, not only would it scare the living shit out of Adam Aaron, all the money he's losing, it would attract media attention. That's something I could use. If all of you were sending me the links that you were going to Regal, and it was a, a shitload of apes worldwide, or you know, even if it was in America, even I, enough enough people could attract major media attention. Now that's something I could use. That's something I could use for on your mission. But it's like, it, why wouldn't you want to do that? Look, I get the whole concept why maybe people wouldn't want to go to a protest, right? You're afraid to get arrested you're afraid to get shot you, you 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 got the fear of january 6th the capital riots but are you afraid to make a video are you afraid to just open a youtube channel not for the purpose of monetization not for the purpose of making money but for the purpose of showing adam aaron that there is a repercussion there is a repercussion of him not hiring share intel and that is you're never going to amc again you're spending your money at the competitors now, you're not understanding because a lot of people say, well, that won't do anything. You're wrong. If enough people made these videos, sent me the link, and I had a friggin' library of 100,000 apes doing this or 200,000 apes or, or 500,000 apes or a million apes, I could use that to get major media attention and we could really now get our voices heard. Now, that's not a, a protest where you're going to get arrested. You're not going to get in any trouble making a video on your phone. I do it every day. I do it a hundred times a day. You're not going to get any legal trouble. You're not going to get shot. You're not going to get arrested. And all those things that you said, oh, I'm afraid of the Abe's is going to get delisted. Citadel is going to infiltrate the event. Citadel can't infiltrate your freaking iPhone or your smartphone, okay? You're just making a video. So there's no excuse. But like I said, step one is to pressure Adam Aaron. Everybody should be like, they should literally, the guy should be getting overloaded with tweets and emails and phone calls. You should be calling cor corporate offices of AMC. You should be literally bombarding him with messages. Higher share intel. Higher share intel. And if he doesn't respond, then everybody should publicly respond by making a video. And you should say it on the video. You should say, I'm making this video because Adam Aaron, you are refusing to hear our wishes, the AMC stockholders' wishes, the retail investors' wishes. You are refusing to higher share intel. This is the repercussion, which is you go to Regal, you make a video buying tickets at Regal, you make a video buying concessions at Regal. If enough people did that, it could attract major media attention. But, you know, you guys don't listen to me. Maybe you shouldn't listen to me. You shouldn't listen to me because I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not an attorney. It's not legal advice. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only because that's what I am. An entertainer. The one. The only a fall in the house, baby! Wow!